In this tutorial, we are going to get familiar with two tools in Captivate, namely the Highlight Box and uh, Click Box. I'm going to showcase first the final result that we wish to achieve by previewing the project. It's just a two slides project, and in the first part, I'm going to show the hood of a car and uh, show a training slide that points to two areas of the car. In the second slide, we have an assessment where we are supposed to click on the parts that we have just learned under the hood. So if I click on the wipers liquid tube correctly, it will move on to the next question. Now it's asking me to click onto the radiator liquid tube. If I click on a wrong part of the engine, it will display this message that says try again. If I click on the correct one, it will display the message correct and it will carry on. It's a very simple exercise that points out that uh, e-learning is uh, often made of two components. One is uh, training and the other component is assessment. I'm going to replicate the same project very quickly using the two tools that I've mentioned at the beginning of the tutorials. I'm going to start with uh, file, new project, blank project. In this case, I'm using a 800 by 600 due to constraint with my screen to record this tutorial but normally I would have used it probably a 1024 by 768. Now I'm going to use Control minus or Command minus to zoom out so that I can see the entire slide within the frame. And I'm going to import a picture just by going to Insert Image. I've already saved the picture onto my desktop and this is the picture of the engine. I would need to scale up the picture a little bit, though it's not very recommended otherwise the picture could uh, pixelate. I'm going to click on the background and what I've done also in the example that we have just seen on the right hand side from the general settings I have uh, unchecked use master slide background from here and immediately I also uncheck project background and I choose a different stage background. By clicking on that I can choose black background for the slide. Now I always have to bear in mind that at the bottom of the screen I have my timeline that defines the duration for both slides and the picture that I have included in it. So I'm going to stretch the duration of the slide, for example, to 10 seconds, but you notice that the picture didn't stretch accordingly. Therefore, I'm going to click on the picture and down into the properties on the right hand side, I will find timing. When I click on timing, I can choose to display the picture not for a specific time, but for the rest of the slide. Now the picture will be displayed until the end of the slide, no matter what is the duration of the slide. The first slide that I'm creating, as I mentioned, is for training purpose. So I will be using a highlight box, but I also have to label it using the text caption. I'm going to click on to insert text caption, and immediately it creates a caption in the middle of the screen. Here I'm going to type training. I'm going to move the caption on the top part of the screen so it doesn't interfere with the picture. Now I'm ready to click on insert highlight box. When I click on insert highlight box it plays a bluish square in the middle of the screen. Now I'm going to reposition the square onto the wipers liquid tube and I can play with the fill and the stroke to make this box more visible. In the example that we have seen at the beginning of this tutorial, I have chosen red for the stroke and I have also chosen fill to be red. However, I also have ticked this checkbox that says fill outer area. Unfortunately, Captivate is not able to render the final result of uh, outer area during the project stage, but when I preview this slide, it will be able to display it as I'm expecting. Everything will be red except the area that I've highlighted. Now I want to shift the highlight box in the middle of the slide and at the same time I also want to stretch the caption all the way to the end of the slide. This is the training slide. When I want to move on to the next slide for assessment I'm going to right click on the slides on the left hand side in the film strip panel and pick from there duplicate. 
All I need to do now in the second slide is to replace the word training with assessment. And I'm ready to use the next tool. I first have to remove the highlight box. So I'm going to click on it and press backspace or delete to remove it. And I go back to the new tool, which is the insert click box. With the click box, Captivate creates four items. One item is just the box that I'm moving around now. The other three items are actually captioned. One is a hint, one is for failure, and the other one is for success. I need to make sure that the captions are not overlapping with the area that I want to highlight with the click box. You notice that the click box has a little mouse at the bottom right corner which means that this click box will be activated by left click. In fact, the left click in this icon of the mouse is green. We can also change that by making the click right click. In this case, I'm happy with left click. All I need to do is just to reposition that click box. Notice that the click box, though in the project, has a stroke around when we will look into it in the assessment area, it will not display any stroke or any fill. As I mentioned, we can also change the function of the mouse either to a double click or with a right click. We can also decide to disable the click sound. In this case, I'm happy with a left click with the sound as well. Now I'm going to move the click box in the middle of the slide. And uh, what I'm going to do next, I'm going to test the presentation starting from uh, this slide. I've already tested the previous uh, slide, the training, so I just want to focus on the assessment right now. The slide will play and then it will stop in the middle of the slide and will ask me to click on the wiper liquid tube. You notice that when my mouse hover onto that area, a yellow box that says type in here will appear. If I click outside that area, it will say type failure text here. Only when I click onto the wiper liquid tube, it will finally display type success text here. Now I need to clean up the captions a little bit. So I'm going to close the preview, go back to my project. I decided I don't want any hint text when the mouse hover onto that area. So I'm going to delete the yellow caption. I'm going to double click the green caption and type a simple correct over there and double click the failure caption and just type a try again. Now just previewing again the same slide we will have a different uh, perception. In fact when the slide stops and uh, we are hovering the mouse onto the click area no hint caption will appear. Also, when I click outside that area, it will display a try again. And only when I click on the wiper liquid tube, it will finally display correct. The last thing that I want to do is to add a hint that tells me what I'm supposed to do. So I'm going to click my assessment caption. I'm going to do a copy and paste, command C, command V, or control C, control V. Drag it at the bottom of the screen, double click assessment and uh, right there, click on the wipers liquid tube. You notice that our click box, unlike the other items that we have added, has a pause icon here, you see the two vertical bars, means that the mouse, actually the presentation, will pause slightly after six seconds. If I want that to happen earlier in the time, I can just shift that component, that item, towards the left. Now you see that the pause will happen exactly at four and a half seconds. I'm going to play this slide one more time, preview from this slide or Command F8 or Control F8 if you are using a PC. At four and a half seconds sharp, the presentation will stop and will say, click on the wipers liquid tube. I'm going to click on it, it will say correct, and it will proceed to the end of the presentation. Now that we have done the assessment slide as well, we can go back to the first slide and preview the entire project. So it will be preview project or F4, 
It will start with the first slide where we'll train me on what is the wiper liquid tube. And then it will move on to the second slide where we'll assess me asking to click onto the wipers liquid tube. By doing so, I have successfully passed the first unit of this training. The example that we have seen at the beginning has two components of uh, training and two components of assessment. This one will require more time in terms of formatting. Another type of problem that you might face creating uh, slides with multiple click box is that you will have also multiple success box and multiple failure box. If you want them to appear always in the same position, you will need them to be overlapped. In fact, as you can see, here I have two correct and two try again. I want to keep it that way. So every time we will make a mistake, it will display the try again in the same position, as well as every time we will uh, click the correct answer, it will always display the success message in the same position.